سمي أحمد كني يا مسرار نزيدها في ألف وتسعمية واثنين وستين ألف سلام لك وليك الله عمر ستين سنة يلا مالك ابن شوشو عيد شنة الله عمر خمسة وسبعين ساكن في الفندق زوبيدة بنت السرسال خمسة عشر هنجي الخياطة والطرس من مراكش <laughs> Marrakesh, the imperial city in the heart of Morocco. More than one million people live here. Many of them poor. The artisans are the soul of Medina, the old part of Marrakesh, where ancient crafts and traditions are still alive. Life is tough here, and so are the working conditions. Bright sunlight, long hours, and a lot of dust everywhere. Even years before they get old, many artisans suffer from eye cataract, to them, losing eyesight not only means losing their jobs and income, but also the ability to pass down their skills and traditions to the next generations. A disaster for the cultural heritage of Morocco. Heading north towards Taza. In this smaller city in the mountains, a doctor from Casablanca and his team set out on a mission to cure as many eye cataracts as possible, free of charge. Abderrahman Rice is a leading eye surgeon and the president of Al Bazaar, an international NGO that fights visual impairment and blindness. Mohamed Armout is one of his patients today. He is a potter from a little village. Mohamed began to lose sight in his left eye gradually, and the condition worsened. Now he can barely see. Without treatment, the man of 52 would soon lose his vision completely. Dr. Rice and his mobile operation room are his only hope to go back to a normal life. Cataract is a disease of the vitreous body inside the eye. It leads to an impaired vision and then to blindness. Eye cataract is the main reason for blindness in Morocco. For several years now, Dr. Rice and his team have been doing their best to give sight to patients like Mohammed all over Morocco. While eye surgery is inexpensive to people in the Western world, the workers here don't have access to proper treatment. They could never afford the cost of high-end medicine. The consequences are severe. A person suffering from cataract sees his life change. His field of view is increasingly limited until after some time he is trapped in his own world. He is less in touch with others because he cannot see them anymore. Mohammed is only one of the many eye cataract cases that Dr. Rice will treat for free today. Wherever he and his team go, the hospitals are full of potential cases desperate to be treated. Before the procedure can start, all patients have to undergo the necessary preparations. And then, wait. When the team sets up the operation unit, the medical standard is state-of-the-art. Dr. Rice employs the most advanced surgical technique. The best way to help those patients is to operate them with the gold standard method called phacoemulsification. That's a surgical technique that means only a little opening to remove the cataract and insert the implant. The procedure itself is done in no time. For the surgeon, it's only a minor intervention. Two tiny cuts that give sight to someone who is on the edge of total blindness. A standard operation in the Western world. 
done. But there's more to come. The next patients are prepared and waiting in line. Everything is going as planned in Taza. Dr. Rice conducts up to 20 operations in only a few hours. A tough shift for him and his dedicated team is coming to a happy end. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mohamed Armoud has also made it. Still a bit shaky and tired after the operation. But not for much longer. Tomorrow, the patch on his eye will be gone and he will return to a brighter life with his family and work after only one night in the hospital. For the patients who have been operated on the previous day, the wait is nearly over. Removing the patches is probably the best part of the surgeon's job. A bright moment for everyone. <laughs> Seeing properly is a dream come true. A turning point in life for all the patients. New vision for the patients of Taza. A priceless experience. But there's still some advice to take. Before it's time to leave, Dr. Rice gives a careful description of the medication so everybody can recover safely and in time. On his way home, Mohammed is feeling better by the minute. He tells us about his life with blurred vision. Taking the road to Taza was the best he could do. From afar, he couldn't even tell his wife from his mother or sister. Everything was behind the foggy veil that is now almost gone. In a few days, he will be completely fine. Back home, everybody has been waiting for the patient and the good news. The family leads a simple life in the mountains of the northeast. They don't need much here. But Mohammed's new eyes will make things so much easier now for everybody. Another happy patient. Dr. Rice is saving people's vision and at the same time Morocco's cultural heritage. Operating the people affected by cataract offers two advantages. They can reintegrate into society and their daily life and they maintain their artisan skills and can pass them on to the next generation. They experience new eyesight and a whole new life. Time to pack up in Taza. After 72 hours of pure concentration, the team is busy getting everything together. It's been a long and arduous challenge, but spirits are still high. An eye surgery tour like this happens two or three times a year, and almost everyone is on board for the good cause. Michel drives the heavy truck back to Casablanca. He is a pensioner from France. 
So far, he has done every caravan tour with Dr. Rice, each time at his own expense. Some people have a lot to give. Back in Marrakesh, in the narrow lanes of Medina, many people here make a living from fine leather craftsmanship, an art that requires clear vision. Andrea Kolb is the founder of Avery, an organization that helps to preserve craftsmanship and culture wherever needed. <laughs> to help Dr. Rice in his fight against eye cataract, she joined forces with the artist Thomas Rusch from Germany. Together, they had a great idea, an art project to raise money for people that cannot pay for eye surgery. Portrait. Eight thirty in the morning, outside Darbalaj. All these people gathering here have been invited. Darbalaj is a local foundation that helps to keep Moroccan culture alive. Almost two hundred came to get a free eye cataract check. Health means luxury in Morocco. The gap between rich and poor is huge and growing. Even though Morocco is not a developing nation, more than six million people live in poverty. The checkup is part of Artisan Sans Cataract, a social undertaking by Darbalaj and Dr. Rice that aims at helping artisans who are in danger of going blind. Maha El Mahdi, the foundation's president, is a great networker in Marrakesh. People trust her. She explains the routine to everyone. First, the potential patients have to be examined for signs of eye cataract. They get eye drops to dilate the pupils. These are needed for the preliminary scan. Everybody is eager to go through the checkups. <laughs> Dr. Rice wants to cure as many people as possible. According to the World Health Organization, there are 90,000 eye cataract cases per year in Morocco. So a consistent source of funding free operations is essential, yet always a problem. This time it's going to be different. If the patient is diagnosed with eye cataract, he gets a stamp for a free operation. And this is where portrait comes into the picture. The idea is simple. The photo artist Thomas Rush and his partner, filmmaker Ilias Trieber, take portraits of the artisans suffering from eye cataracts. Framed and signed, these portraits will be shown in art galleries and also be sold on the website. The money is then directly used to pay for the operation costs of the person in the picture. <laughs> what makes the portrait idea so striking is the direct connection from the donor to the person in the purchased work of art. <laughs> Voicing the thought, I see, you see, and giving back vision to someone in need. <laughs> 